first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this video on the topic number system so now we are going to learn one of the most important concept that is n terms where many students are still making a mistake on these areas that is on the concept called n terms so this n terms will comes under the topic that is arithmetic progression so we have heard this uh, concept right in schoolings I think I have learned this APGP on 10th standard mathematics, arithmetic progression and geometric progression. So here in this lesson number 11, so remember one thing, it's not lesson number one, it's lesson number 11. So totally we have posted 11 lesson on the topic number system because number system is the basics for complete quantitative aptitude. So always remember one thing, if you are going to learn the quantitative aptitude session, so before learning all the topics like time and work, average, ratio, Ratio, proportion everything first learn number system starting from lesson number one got it so what I'm uh, telling you like ABGP right arithmetic progression and geometric progression so remember one thing here I am NOT going to teach you the arithmetic progression completely right I am just going to teach you only one important concept on the topic arithmetic progression that is called sum of n terms got it so here you can able to see these two questions, right? these two model questions, we have see, able to see this question on many of the competitive exams like bank exams, SBA clerk exams, like or else a campus interview. Mostly you can able to see this question on railway recruitment, recruitment board, RRB exams, etc. Right? In all the competitive exams, you can able to see any one format. But remember one thing, the first question is find the sum. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, up to 15. Got it? And similarly, the second question is find the sum. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, dot, 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 to 15 terms. Just see, both the question, there is a small difference. Here, at the last plus 15. Got it? But here, at the last 215 terms. This is most important. To solve this question, the formula is different. To solve this question, the formula is different where many students I have seen making a mistake that they use one formula to this question as well as they use the same formula to this question also. Remember one thing, it is till 15, got it? It is till the number 15, but it is not till number 15, it is to the 15 terms, got it? Up to 15 terms, we need to find the sum of series. So if there is a word called two 15 terms, got it? to some terms, right, to 20 terms or to 30 terms or to 100 terms, you need to solve this question by AP formula, that is arithmetic progression formula, that is sum of n terms. The formula here is, I hope that you have heard this formula, so n by 2, so 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Right? It's very easy, right, just we need to pick up all the values from the equation that is in the series we need to substitute in the formula and you will get the answer and the formula here is x square so the value of x will be n plus 1 by 2 so this is the formula to solve this question remember one thing the same set of uh, formulas and uh, different kinds of models in this area I have taught you in lesson number 5 that is sum of series Got it? Same number system topic in lesson number 5. I have taught you two important models. That is model number 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, natural numbers or else natural square numbers or natural cube numbers. As well as in model number 2, even numbers, odd numbers. I have taught you everything in lesson number 5 that is based upon this model. Understood or not? Right? So complete model I have taught you in lesson number 5. So now in this video what we are going to learn is in case if the last term 15 terms or 200 terms if the series is like in this pattern so we have to solve the question by using a AP formula that is arithmetic progression formula understood so a similarly a same type of question can also be in different sort of ways got it because many students are getting confused that where I should use this formula and where I should use that formula got it that's the thing that we are going to learn here remember one thing only they have given plus 15 we have to use this formula right if they have given a word 2 got it 2 so two some terms then we need to use a formula called arithmetic progression so never forget that right so we can solve some of the exam question previous year exam question that is based upon this model so let me take this question and we can solve this question by AP formula 
as well as I can solve it in a normal traditional method. Some of the students will always ask that without a formula can I solve this question? Yes, without a formula you can solve this question. But it might take some time. For example, from 1 it is to 15 terms. So it is easy to write all the numbers and then adding is also easy. In case, if they ask a same question up to 1 or 2 terms or else up to 200 terms, then you can't able to write all the 200 terms and you can't able to add the answer in a traditional method. That will take more time than solving by a formula method. Got it? So better use a formula because only one formula that you are going to learn. So better learn that formula and apply all the values in the formula. Find the answer that is easy. But anyways, I can solve this question initially by a traditional method also, right? So traditional method is nothing but just see we have a term up to 15 terms. That is starting from 1. So you need to find the logic behind the series. So 1, 3, 5, 7. So they are going with the odd numbers. Got it? So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. You should not stop 15, up to 15. Got it? It's up to 15 terms. That is first term, second term, third term, fourth term, till 15 terms. Got it? So 17, then... 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. I think so. We have written all the 15 terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes. So I have written all the 15 terms starting from 1 in the given format. So finally, we need to add all it, right? Add all the numbers. So if you add all the numbers, resultant will be 225. Sorry, actually I know, know the answer already, so I have written directly. Got it? So 1 to 29, the answer is 225. So this is called as the traditional method. In case, if it is the last term is 2, 99 terms, for example, I am saying 2, 99 terms. So you have to write the numbers right till 99 term. It is not possible in the exams. That's the reason I am saying do not use the traditional method here. Use the formula method. Formula is also very easy. So S of N is equal to N by 2. Got it? 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Got it? If you write the formula 2 or 3 times, automatically you will buy at it. Remember one thing, s of n is nothing but sum of series till n terms. n terms means 15 terms. Got it? So the value of n will be 15. s of 15. Got it? So the value of n will be the last term, that is n term, that is 15th term. So 15 by 2. So 2 into a. So a will be the starting number. So here, what is the starting number here? 1. So a will be 1. So plus Again, n will be 15. See how easy it is. So the last value is d. So d is nothing but the difference. So take any two numbers and see the difference, right? First two numbers. So 1 and 3. What is the difference here? 2. So similarly, you can take 3 and 5, difference 2, 5 and 7, difference 2. So according to the question, the difference may vary. So always remember that take the first two terms and find the difference. So 1 and 3, the difference will be it's 2. The value of d will be 2. So just solve this equation, you will get the final answer. So 15 by 2, so this will be 2 here. 15 minus 1 will be 14. So 14 into 2 will be 28. Got it? So 28 plus 2 will be 30. So 15 by 2 into 30. So cancel it, 15. So 15 into 15 will be 225. Understood or not? In both the ways, we are getting the same answer. Got it? It's easy, right? It's just we are going to see what is the series. And what is the nth term that is 15 and what is the value of a? So a will be the starting number. So substitute the starting number and d is called as a difference. So difference between the two numbers. So after substituting all the values here, so finally we will get the sum of series up to 15 terms. Understood? So that's the reason I'm saying don't use the traditional method. Always go with the formula method for these types of questions. Got it? So that solving procedure may be very easy. So this will be the answer for question number one. Question number 2. So find the sum of first 19 terms of the sequence 2, 7, 12, 17 and it goes on. Got it? So this is also a same pattern but the question format is different. So they are asking in a sentence way that is find the first 19 terms of the sequence. The meaning here is the series will be 2, 7, 12, 17. It goes on till how much number? 2, 19 terms. Got it? So we need to find what is the sum of the series. So remember that the question can be asked in a different, different ways. But you need to understand that logic, right? 19 terms, 20 terms or up to 100 terms. Always use that AP formula, arithmetic, arithmetic progression formula. Got it? So here, where the first term is 2, which means the value of A will be 2. 
so next will be the value of n so the value of n will be up to how many terms up to 19 terms so the value of n will be 19 and the next will be the difference so difference will be the first two numbers take the two numbers 2 and 7 what is the difference here 5 so similarly if you can you can check for the remaining numbers 7 and 12 what is the difference 5 12 and 17 the difference is 5 so the value of d is called as a difference between the numbers so difference will be 5 so now you know the values of all the terms a n as well as d so now substitute the value in the formula so s of n sum of n terms up to sum of n terms so here the value of n will be 19 understood so this is not needed in some books you can able to see s of 19 s of 21 so the meaning here is sum of series that is up to 19 terms got it so n by 2 that is 19 by 2 so 2 into a so a will be 2 here so 2 into a plus n minus 1 so n minus 1 that is 19 minus 1 into d so d will be 5 that's it so 2 into 2 will be 4 so this will be so 19 by 2 so 4 so 18 into 5 so 8 5 is a 40 so remaining will be 4 that is 90 got it so 19 by 2 so into 94 is 90 plus 4 will be 94 so cancel it 4 twos are 8 remaining will be 1 that is 7 twos are 14 so 47 into 90 9 sevens are 63 so remaining will be 6 9 fours are 36 36 plus 7 will be 43 so 43 plus 6 will be 49 so remaining will be 4 that is 893 so final answer will be 893 so similarly if you add and see in a traditional method starting from 2 till 19 terms if you add all the numbers the resultant answer will be 893 the same got it but that will be the long process so this will be very short and easy to solve the question by arithmetic progression got it so remember one thing the question can be asked in a different different ways always you need to keep that in mind just look at the series and if you have the last number plus something if it is plus something then use the logic what i have told you in lesson number five if it is not plus something it is it is in a term of 19 terms or 100 terms etc then you you should go with a concept called arithmetic progression again i am saying in the arithmetic progression concepts there are many concepts and there are many formulas but i am not going to teach all that I'm just going to teach you only in the exam point of view. Exam point of view. So this is one of the important formula. So that's the reason I'm teaching you only the important formula and important concept which is related to the exam point. Got it? So finally answer for question number two will be 893. So here is the last third question. So take this as a homework question, right? And check whether you are getting the answer that is 1380. So the similar concept. So it's one of the memory based questions. So what you need to do is you need to find the sum of first 30 terms for the given sequence right the sequence is 17 19 21 etc so starting from 17 then 19 21 i think the difference is 2 right d is 2 and the value of a is 17 because always the starting number will be value of a so the value of a will be 17 and the d will be the difference that is 2 is the difference and n so n will be up to 30 terms so the value of n will be 30 got it so if you substitute in the formula then the final answer will be 1380 so solve it and check whether you are getting the answers or not got it so that's it about this video right so this is the lesson number 11 video that is related to n terms so most important concept because many students are still making a mistake in this region so that's the reason we are uh, making this as a separate video on number system topic that is lesson number 11 n terms which is called arithmetic progression formula got it so always remember one thing never forget it every time before going for the exams you need to remember this so if the series are in this way for example 1 3 5 7 up to 15 or 1 3 5 7 up to 19 terms so both are completely different understood so this is up to only plus 15 but this is to 19 terms you have to write all the numbers till 19 terms got it so that's the difference so this is the thing we have learnt in lesson number 5 so this is the thing what we learnt in this lesson number 11 got it 
so that's it about this video right so thank you so much for watching it so as i know that many students will keep on asking that teach every concept in arithmetic progression and geometric progression so i will teach that definitely that going to be a different lesson lesson number one two three for arithmetic progression and geometric progression i'm going to teach that but before one before that you need to remember one thing if you are preparing for cat exams got it cat cat then you have to learn all the concepts in AP and GP. But if you are preparing for bank exams or railway, SSC or college student a campus first round aptitude session and if you are learning for any government exams right other than CAT etc. I am not talking about that much tough level competitive exams. If you are preparing for uh, other than the tough level competitive exams mostly this one formula is enough to crack the question. So that's it about this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much. Bye.